How's it, friends? Neil Everett here. Azunia! This is already not working. I hate this pandemic. Let's get to work. Start with what the Lucky Duck Foundation has been up to since we last talked and the impact the Lucky Duck Foundation is having when it comes to helping San Diego's homeless. Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll get to what the Lucky Duck Foundation has been doing. First, here's what we need you to do. Log on to ldf2020.givesmart.com. Donate, please. Bid on auction items. Please, we have some very cool stuff to bid on, and we have a very real problem to try and help solve. So, Azunia. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's empty. I was scared. It was hard sleeping on the streets. That was my life, drugs, alcohol. We have one of the largest unsheltered populations in the nation. It really depends on all of us to really understand the scope of the problem and handle it. Make sure you have balanced meals. Let me give you those two. We're distributing food and water to a thousand unsheltered individuals per day. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Keep doing what you do, soldier. You're feeding people who, who genuinely need, need sustenance. We are funding employment and job training programs. I did what it, I had to do to get on my feet and um, become independent and successful. It's more than just a job. It, it's encouraging and uplifting for me. We're supporting shelters. It's helping us change the trajectory of homelessness. And we're prioritizing youth homelessness. It restores faith in humanity. We just need this. It's going to keep me alive peacefully. This is life-saving for these people. There's no question about that. Hey, everybody. This is Peter Jacobson. I'm so proud to support the Lucky Duck Foundation, and I hope you continue with your generosity and support. What Pat and Stephanie Kilkenny have done for years is incredible. And remember, they will match every dollar up to a million this year. I hope to see you next year back in person like normal. Until then, we wish you all the best and go Lucky Duck Foundation. Thank you, Peter. After 40 years, I, I, I hope that you had something nice to say about uh, us Stephanie and I in our relationship, and you're an extraordinary friend, and you've done great things for Lucky Duck and a lot of other charities over the years, and proud to call you a friend. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for the first ever Lucky Duck Foundation virtual soiree. Um, nobody wishes that we could all be together for a party more than, than Pat and I do. So thanks everybody who's been supporting us over the years, who's here tonight, and thanks to all the new people that I've just learned about the Lucky Duck Foundation and what we're doing and um, want to learn more. Um, I want to just real quick before we get started, thank our sponsors. I'd like to thank Chuck Gall and Kelly Hale at RBC Wealth Management who are presenting sponsors for this event. And they've been doing that since we had an offer of a presenting sponsor for the event. So thank you guys for sticking with us all these years. Hi Pat and Stephanie, it's Chuck and Kelly with RBC. It's been so exciting to see the growth of the Lucky Duck Foundation over the last 15 years and to see your vision come to life. Thank you for your hard work, for making the community a better place, and for changing the trajectory of so many lives. We continue to be honored to share in the sponsorship of the Lucky Duck Foundation. I'd like to thank the, our shelter level sponsors at Align Financial Group and K2 Insurance our safety level sponsors at the San Diego Padres and Panache and & Boyle, and our service level sponsors, Dos Gringos Flower Company, j &L Pie Company, Harold & Carol Pump Foundation, and Roth Capital. Very important for the Lucky Duck Foundation is our fabulous swag. So thanks to our friends up in Portland at Columbia Sportswear and Nike, and our friends in San Diego who add the Lucky Duck logo to those fabulous products at California Embroidery. Last but not least, our friends at Anderson Direct and Digital who help us get the Lucky Duck message out and have been doing that for the past several years, and our new friends at the shipyard who just came on this year. Thanks so much for all your support. Foundations are all about their board of directors, and we have a, an extraordinary group of directors. 
we have an original legacy group that helped us get through our first uh, 12 or 14 years of our existence. And that group, uh, we're, we're primarily engaged in fundraising and helped us with our event. And that's Kieran Sweeney, Bob Kimmel, Jason Levin, Dana Pump. And with Dana Pump, you always get David Pump along with Brian Panish. And always every step of the way, the Walton family, Lori and Bill Walton, were part of our team and, and very impactful. Uh, when we decided to be focused on the homeless initiative, that became not just about fundraising, but it also came about leadership. And, and so we brought in a unique group of uh, community leaders, starting with uh, Mitch Mitchell, uh, Tom Mulvaney, Debbie Ruane, Peter Seidler, Dan Shea, and uh, Dan Novak. We were also blessed to have, uh, which would be an appropriate way to express it, to have Father Joe Carroll, who probably has done more uh, in terms of helping the homeless in San Diego County uh, than anyone else. And he joined us as a special advisor and, and he's been incredibly helpful along the way. The last two gentlemen, but are certainly not the least, are two people that I would describe as selfless, uh, people that lead with their heart, with their minds, and, and, and certainly with their pocketbooks too. And that's Peter Seidler and Dan Shea. And, and uh, as an aside, the complementary leaders are really critically important with complementary skills, uh, uh, life experiences. And, and, and in the case of Dan and Peter, one has been described as killing them with kindness and the other has been described with killing them. And that is a tongue in cheek way to describe uh, the power of, of that team. So we're very, very, very proud <clears throat> and fortunate to have uh, all of those people on our board of directors. Well, Pat, uh, thank you for that nice introduction. Peter and I get a lot of credit for a lot of stuff, but it's a little overkill sometimes. Uh, and I say that because we started our effort in 2016, but Pat and Stephanie uh, were way ahead of us when they started Lucky Duck in 2004. We just happened to come to an intersection together where everybody agreed that by combining what we were each doing, we could make a bigger impact in the community. So we are very appreciative of all the work that Pat and Stephanie and all the folks on the Lucky Duck Board did long before we ever uh, showed up. Uh, we've made a lot of progress in the last four years, but it feels like it's moving at a glacial pace. Some of it is, some of it isn't. Uh, but what we do know is there's a lot of work yet to do. Um, I can assure you we're not going away. We made a commitment to each other when we started this that we have to, to survive generations of politicians and do our best to push them into doing the right things. And we've uh, endeavored to do that. Um, we remain more, than, more committed than ever to this cause. And uh, hopefully that includes each of you and the part you're doing to help. So we thank you in advance for watching and supporting. And uh, now let me turn it over to Peter. As everybody here knows, I have a ton of respect for Dan Shea. When about four years ago, he and I decided to tackle homelessness as two guys that didn't know a heck of a lot about homelessness. What we did know is that to make something happen on a tricky issue like homelessness, we had to be relentless. We had to insist that everything we did as a city, as a county was best in class and recognizing that homelessness in some form is always going to be here. We knew we could bring the number of unsheltered people down, the number of homeless people down, and really focus on the most vulnerable, the children, the elderly, the mentally disabled, and really help those people. And so the chance to really make a difference to the benefit of this city, but more importantly, to the benefit of the individual that's homeless. Uh, we meet weekly, as we have for the past four years, and through those weekly meetings on homelessness, about three years ago, we really got to know Pat and Stephanie Kilkenny, and probably the smartest decision that we ever made was to play a, a small but hopefully meaningful role with the Lucky Duck Foundation. and. Among other things, one of the things that I'd like to do today is commit a half a million dollars to support uh, Lucky Duck and, um, and Pat and Stephanie uh, because it, it supports the people that need the help. 
And as we endeavor and as we move forward, I think our city has made tremendous progress on this issue. There's a lot more to come. What started out as maybe uh, Dan and myself, the Kilkenny family, a few others, now is really a small army of really competent, caring people. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our executive director, Drew Mosier, and his team who push this thing on a daily, and, and really Drew's taken over the leadership of our Tuesday meetings and um, helps all of us really try to do our little bit to make San Diego best in class on homelessness. So thank you for uh, participating in the soiree this year. It's a little bit different as we all know, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Wow, Peter, that is incredibly, incredibly generous. Thank you very much. My name is Drew Moser. I'm the executive director of the Lucky Duck Foundation. I'm always amazed by the generosity of Lucky Duck Foundation donors. And that's what this evening is about. Acknowledging generosity, highlighting a few ways your donations are being put to work, and encouraging those of you who have not yet donated to consider sharing your luck. If you have already donated, thank you sincerely. If you have not yet given, we hope you will consider doing so. And please know, every gift counts. We've had donors come to us and say, we have a million dollars. Can you put that to work in a meaningful way? And we've had donors come to us with $20 and ask the same question. And the answer to both questions is yes. For us to support a program, it has to be best in class, cost effective, based on the facts, and show results. And when we do fund a program, we squeeze every last penny out of every last dollar to ensure your donations have the greatest impact and outcomes as possible. So whether you can give $50, 5,000, 50,000, or any other level, please know every dollar makes a difference. And don't forget all donations are generously matched by Lucky Duck Foundation co-founders, Pat and Stephanie Kilkenny, up to a million dollars. Now, throughout the state of California, homelessness is on a troubling rise. However, here in San Diego County, it's declined each of the past four years. And although that's positive progress, there's still an incredible amount of work to do. Here are a few examples of what we are doing to help. We're distributing food and water to 1,000 unsheltered individuals per day and growing. And we've distributed more than 175,000 meals to date to keep folks nourished and help end their homelessness. We are funding employment and job training programs throughout the region for individuals experiencing homelessness. Everything from culinary skills to community beautification, food rescue, internships for youth, and more. We are working with San Diego's institutions of higher learning to focus those institutions on undertaking meaningful research into the myriad of issues surrounding homelessness. And we'll tell you more about these programs in the next few minutes. We're supporting shelters, permanent supportive housing, outreach, transportation, and we're prioritizing youth homelessness. As one CEO of a youth service provider says, we have to catch these kids while the cement is still wet. So again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support. And now let's get on with some of our top plays with ESPN's Neil Everett. Neil? Sorry, I'm up here in Los Angeles, but I, I thought I just heard it said that the Lucky Duck Foundation is feeding 1,000 unsheltered homeless individuals per day and has given out more than 175,000 meals in only a few months. That's what it says on the teleprompter. So unlike the internet, if it's on the prompter, I wrote it and it's true. Please tell us how. A new program that combines a unique partnership between philanthropists, the Lucky Duck Foundation, and public entities is distributing food, water, and vital information to the estimated 4,000 unsheltered homeless individuals in San Diego County. Yeah, make sure you have balanced meals. Let me give you those two. Thank you. If you're hungry, you can't think of anything else. No, like, you really can't do much if you're starving. When COVID-19 broke out, San Diego's unsheltered population had even greater than normal challenges. Many of their food distribution sites closed down, leaving them hungry. Gwendolyn Sothheim, who is a local philanthropist, came to me and asked, uh, stated the obvious, people are starving to death, they don't have access to food, the food banks are running out of money with the COVID 
crisis, and so we've got to feed these people who are unsheltered. People who don't have access just go hungry. When you hear on the media that they go without food for four or five days, it's it just my heart breaks, and I can't just sit home, not do anything. And we agreed that we had to engage the community because this is a big uh, program. You can't just write one check and say, okay, we've solved a problem. As soon as Gwendolyn asked me about it, I said, I know exactly where we can go for those meals. If you look at the, the Sheriff's Department, we already prepare 15,000 meals a day for the inmates we have inside our detention facilities. And we had the capability with the resources, thanks to Gwendolyn Sondheim and her generous contributions, to expand our food production capabilities. So the Sheriff's Department prepares more than 14,000 meals per week and counting. That food and water is brought to a pickup location for distribution. But who would get the meals to those who needed them most? Called Tamara at the Regional Task Force for the Homeless, and she said, absolutely, these people are starving to death. They need some relief. Tamara Kohler, the CEO of San Diego's Regional Task Force on the Homeless, used her resources to organize teams of trained outreach specialists to pick up and deliver the meals. Being able to deliver these basic resources is just so timely and so needed and so compassionate that that is all of our mission. That's the work that we do. And our ability to partner with organizations like the Lucky Duck is how we get this work done. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Keep doing what you do, soldier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The program is about much more than food. The outreach workers have the training to deliver vital information on resources for housing, medical and psychological needs. If you call this number anytime after 8 a.m. every day, they can let, they'll come over and they can screen you and you can get back into the convention center. For example, on this day, outreach specialist Sunsuri Richardson not only delivered food, but she helped this lady get to the experts who can help her. They can get you screening, there's medical on site, there's... The goal of this powerful combination of public and private forces is to ramp up the number of meals served and the amount of information shared so that as many unsheltered as possible will find a path to a new life. If anything comes up and you need anything, give me a call. From my own experience, the meals is another, it's a guarantee to another day. It's gonna keep me alive, basically. And it's good. Thank you. Okay, so I can see this is gonna be one of those lump in your throat kind of nights. Fabulous stuff, really. Follow that with this, an anonymous $1 million gift with the ask being the El Lucky Duck Foundation put the money to work to hire and train the homeless so they can work and improve their lot in life. Take just a moment. Can you imagine being homeless? The gift was arranged by our friend Una Davis. That kind of money will benefit more than 500 individuals and result in long-term employment opportunities for more than 300 individuals. That is life changing. You don't have to have read Zig Ziglar to know work is the foundation of all business, the source of all prosperity, and the parent of genius. Let's learn some more. Anyone can be homeless. Before I was homeless, I was six months away from starting my own home inspection company. Uh, just some bad decisions and decades of drug use. Whether it's unfortunate luck, a personal financial hardship, or any other series of negative events, many of San Diego's homeless population are simply in need of a second chance. The Lucky Duck Foundation's Work Opportunities and Job Training Initiative gives them just so that. Let's get, uh, let's get started. From peer-to-peer -peer outreach to community beautification, from culinary skills to food rescue, the program partners with more than a dozen organizations throughout the region, providing participants with work opportunities and job training. For Michael Joseph, now employed as a site coordinator at the Lucky Duck Foundation's Food and Water Program, it's not only a chance to earn money, but also to give back to the community. It's beautiful. It's helping me realize my dream to come full circle, having been homeless, I'm a schizophrenic, I'm a military veteran, um, to be able to give back to my community here in San Diego County means the world to me. The program not only teaches skills and provides income, it provides dignity and a path to self-sufficiency. 
And it's an opportunity to become employed, to have purpose in their life, to not only put something on their resume and have that job experience, life experience, but also to have that esteem, that self-esteem and that fulfillment. Steve Henderson, now working as a food rescue driver for the Salvation Army, is turning his life around with the support of this program. Very grateful for what the Salvation Army has provided for me. Um, the work is, is great. I think it's good for us, good for us all. I know it's good for me. San Diego's Continuing Education's Rising to Success Pathways is also supported by the Lucky Duck Foundation's Work, Opportunities, and Job Training Initiative. The program, which offers more than 70 certificate programs ranging from four to 10 months, is designed to help people experiencing homelessness gain the training and certifications they need to enter the workforce. The program is a high priority of President Carlos Turner Cortez. My mission since I've arrived when we're possible to bring that programming to the community uh, where we're bringing high school diploma programs, uh, ESL programs and job training certificate programs to the community. From cleaning up communities, rescuing and distributing food, learning to cook or learning skilled trades, it is estimated that more than 500 people will benefit from these programs and more than 300 will secure long-term employment giving them the second chance they need and supporting efforts to end their homelessness. I feel like we're watching top plays. In a way we are. These are Lucky Duck Foundation top plays and there's more than 10 of them. Let's talk some top sports teams, okay? Local, like Aztecs and congrats to Coach Dutcher on your new deal, well deserved. Toreros, Bill Walton once snuck into a concert at USD. He told me that. Tritons, how cool would it be to, be to be a merman? Sea lions, kings of the ocean, and cougars, I'm married. These five colleges, universities are our starting five because now they're working together to research homeless strategies and best practices. I'm sure our friend Peter Seidler, go Padres, has got his analytical department helping out too. And speaking of help, how about Tom Mulvaney and his wife Karen? I mean, their generosity has allowed the Lucky Duck Foundation to fund seven different collaborative research projects with those schools. Topics include NIMBYism, housing affordability, stigma and homelessness. I mean, I, I could go on, but why not just hear from Tom himself? Tom Mulvaney here, and thank you all for being here this evening. Hey, let me start by giving you some background on the Lucky Duck University Collaboration Project. It arose from conversations that we had at our Tuesday group meetings. The idea is to get solid based academic research on homelessness issues and to present the data to the respective city and county governments, to service providers, and the public at large to positively impact homelessness policy within San Diego County. University of San Diego, San Diego State, Cal State San Marcos, UCSD, Point Loma Nazarene, National University, and the San Diego Community College District are all active participants. And please know that Debbie Ruen has been the driving force behind the University Collaboration Project. I think I can safely say that Pat Kilkenny and I always follow Debbie's lead. Thank you, Tom. I'm Debbie Ruane. I am a board member for the Lucky Duck Foundation, and I am proud to speak to you about this important university collaboration project. We are working with numerous universities in the San Diego region, and I want to express how unique and important this work is. We have some of the best intellectual minds in the country right in our own backyard, and they're applying themselves to helping solve San Diego's homelessness problem. It's my pleasure to support the Lucky Duck Foundation by co-leading this initiative with Tom Mulvaney and regularly gathering this group of thought leaders and brilliant minds to support our work. I hope you'll consider sharing your luck by donating or volunteering to support the Lucky Duck Foundation. Thank you. Back to you, Tom. Now I wanna let you know why Karen and I have become involved with this project and with the Lucky Ducks. It's really simple, two reasons. First, we all know that the need is acute. Homelessness has been a big issue 
within the city and county of San Diego, and we all need to address it. And the Lucky Ducks have addressed it. And second is the Lucky Ducks. I think you'll find a group of people who are smart, who are dedicated, who are fun, who are can-do, unafraid, kind and caring, strong, logical individuals working collaboratively as a team to address homelessness within San Diego County. To Karen and myself, the Lucky Duck Foundation is family. That was super cool. In case you're just joining us, where you been? And in case you weren't listening early, earlier, here I go again, all right? Raise that paddle, ldf2020.givesmart.com. Don't make me tell you again. I'm kidding. No, not really. If homelessness is not troubling enough, youth homelessness breaks your damn heart. There are more than 1,500 youth on the streets. I mean, imagine your kid homeless. Since last year's event, the Lucky Duck Foundation has supported several initiatives designed to combat youth homelessness. With your support, Lucky Duck Foundation 2020.givesmart.com. We will support many, many more. Take a moment to imagine having spent your junior high and high school days homeless, hungry, and with little or no support. It's estimated there are 500 youth, ages 12 to 17, living on San Diego's streets, and a thousand more, age 18 to 24. John, CJ and Cyan were once among those homeless. I was scared. It was hard sleeping on the streets. That was my life. Drugs, alcohol, friendship. That's it. Now imagine a program that reaches out directly to meet unsheltered youth, then provides them whatever it is they need to succeed. One such organization is doing just that, the Youth Assistance Coalition. We fill every gap the kids need. There isn't a um, exact of what we do. We do everything for the kids. And these kids are our heart, all of us. John was 21 years old, had no identification, and had never spent a single day in school. He also had never been shown basic love. He was living in the riverbed in Chula Vista. I took John to get something to eat. And he's like, I can't go in there. I'm like, why can't you go in there? He goes, they don't allow me in restaurants. With the help of the Youth Assistance Coalition, John began to learn. He also volunteers at the coalition's office, at times helping deliver food to the homeless. The Youth Assistance Coalition also helped him find a job, a home in which to live, and most important, showed him that people cared. I love them. I love our ears, each one of them, because I feel like that's my, like, family. 24-year-old CJ battles cerebral palsy and PTSD. He left an abusive situation in New York and had lived on the streets of Los Angeles, then San Diego, until someone from the Youth Assistance Coalition found him sleeping outside a local church. What he found was what he had been missing his entire life, people who cared. He now has housing, food, dignity, and desire. I want to become a teacher, a mentor to young children who really don't have that support system and I want to help them achieve greatness. It's possible. It's possible. Cyan was also in need of care. She had dropped out of school in ninth grade. By 18, she was addicted to heroin and meth and was living on San Diego streets. The Youth Assistance Coalition helped her get into rehab and followed through, guiding Cyan as she began achieving her educational goals. I am happy now, no longer homeless. I pay my own rent and I pay my bills on time. Um, and I feel like I'm a responsible adult now. John, CJ, and Cyan are three examples of the hundreds of young San Diegans who have been helped by the Youth Assistance Coalition. If I haven't had met Ms. Mel ever, I don't know where I would be. I would be either on the streets or possibly just 
not here. They're all amazing. They all just need someone that cares. The Lucky Duck Foundation is pleased to support the Youth Assistance Coalition and Homestart and their best-in-class efforts to save youth from life on the street. I was homeless before. I know what it feels like. I know how hard it is to worry about finding a helping hand, somebody that can help you get on your feet. Cassandra Ramirez found that helping hand at Homestart, a San Diego organization dedicated to serving pregnant or parenting transitional age youth between the ages of 18 to 24 who are struggling with homelessness. So when I moved into Homestart, I was about 23, 24, um, and I was pregnant with my second child, um, and I was able to um, do parenting, I was able to do all of the things that I needed. I just needed that barrier of homelessness to go away and Home Homestart was able to help me with that. Cassandra's amazing and she shows us that she has the capacity, she has the skills, she has the strength. She just needs a partner in an organization like Homestart or some other one to say we believe in you, we're going to help you get to the other side of this and, and she inspires me every day. In its commitment to addressing youth homelessness, Homestart is adding permanent supportive maternity housing. This housing, scheduled to open in 2021, will greatly increase Homestart's ability to house and support mothers like Cassandra, giving them a safe haven and helping them build a better future. We know young women with children are such an important part of this solution because it's a multi-generational issue. And so we know that if you focus and, and you have a real clear plan with the wraparound support and services, you can make an impact. Knowing the impact of Homestart's maternity program firsthand, Cassandra is now helping a growing number of young San Diegans who are dealing with the same issues she faced just a few years ago. And we ran into a 22-year-old young female um, who was um, struggling with homelessness for the past year. So that connection um, was a really big deal for me because, I mean, she's younger than me. She's out there struggling every day, trying to, you know, live life on life's terms. And just being able to see her, give her some food because she was hungry, and then connect her to services was like A1, it was perfect. In fact, Cassandra has been so inspired by doing this outreach work, she is taking on a larger role with Homestart as a youth systems navigator. Where I'll be able to help our clients um, take away some barriers, uh, help them with uh, motivational interviews, help them uh, with, with resumes, help them with job seeking, help them with finding mental health services, help them with all of those things that they need when they first come into the program to get them stable and on their feet. Getting these young people back on their own two feet is the key to getting them off the streets. To me, this means breaking generational curses, um, breaking cycles, um, ending the cycles of homelessness, ending the cycles of people not helping the homeless, treating them like they're not human. Breaking down these generational cycles by addressing youth homelessness is critical. The Lucky Duck Foundation is pleased to join forces with Homestart to support the maternity housing program. Changing lives not just today, but changing lives for years to come. Thank, Thank you, you to the Lucky, Lucky Duck, Duck Foundation. Foundation. You know one thing that is way worse than a broken record? Homelessness. Please raise that paddle. Lucky Duck Foundation 2020.givesmart.com. Every gift counts. Many of you have given. Many of you are giving right now. Let's recognize some generosity right now. $500,000. Thank you, Peter and Sheil Seidler and Gwendolyn Sondheim and the Aqualia International Foundation. $150,000. Thank you, Brian Panish. $125,000. The Briegel Helps Initiative. $110,000. Thank you, Tom and Karen Mulvaney, for making our university research project possible. $100,000. SDG&E and an anonymous donor. On behalf of San Diego Gas and Electric and our entire family of employees, it is a pleasure to support the Lucky Duck Foundation and their campaign to protect those who are unsheltered and on the streets, unfortunately. The efforts that the foundation is making to truly provide shelter 
and food is commendable, and it is our pleasure once again at SDGME to be a part of this mission. $55,000, the Dana Foundation, $50,000, Una Davis, $40,000, Myron Sima, $30,000, Gary Cadota, $25,000, thank you Walter J. and Betty C. Zabel Foundation and the Bank of America Foundation. $22,500. Thank you, Kelly and Bob Hale. Hi, I'm Bob Kimmel, member of the board of the Lucky Duck Foundation. For years and years, I felt the hardest part of any fundraise drive was us privileged folks writing checks. It's not. Watching Stephanie, Drew, the entire team, realize they've got it much harder. And then the ultimate organizations that put those funds to use have a much harder job. So tonight, let's all do some easy lifting. With that in mind, Ann and I'd like to donate $20,000 to the Lucky Duck Foundation and challenge you all to do whatever you can. Thanks so much, Stephanie, Drew, Pat, and the entire team. $20,000, thank you, Bob and Ann Kimmel, Kieran and Kathy Sweeney, Tony and Cindy Moran, and Stephen Harmon, AKA Sparky. $10,000, thank you, Dan and Sharissa Novak, Carolyn and Paul Barber, the Peter and Kathy Davis family, the M House Family Fund, and Tyson and Mendez. $7,500, Chuck Gall and Jamie Carr. $5,000, thank you, Mitch and Rebecca Mitchell, Stephen Bowker, Tom Cody, Hank Loricella, Dan and Anna Stanger, Robert Tucker, and Dana Altman. $4,000, Scott Marshall. $2,500, thank you to Paul Westhead, Jeremiah Howard, and the University of Oregon. $1,000 and up, thank you Bill and Pam Carr, Jerry and Gail Klusky, Patrick Rohan, Kevin McDonald, Robert White, Jared Dusty Kiefer, the Dicey Dew Family Foundation, Robert and Molly Bloom, Rick Bregman, U.S. Bank, Kai and Sue Snyder, David Dunn, Sarah Griggers, Keith Jones, Vesta Kilkenny, Steve Stoloff, Joseph Hook, and Amel Esposito. I'm Bill. And I'm Lori. And we are the luckiest ducks on earth. What generosity. San Diego, the world, the universe steps up to support all of our favorite causes. The Lucky Duck Foundation. Wow. We're here with the Helen Woodward Mobile Pet Unit, which is so cool. And what it does, it addresses two of the critical elements of the challenges that we face in our community. Pet health welfare and safety, and then also homelessness. And did you know that 24% of the homeless that they have pets? And I feel incredibly honored and privileged to be on the board of the Lucky Duck Foundation. I mean, seriously, you could not wish success on a greater couple than Stephanie and Pat Kilkenny. They are so kind, so generous, so incredibly hardworking. They're the reason why the Lucky Duck Foundation every year just gets bigger and better. And there's never been greatness without incredible leadership. And that is Pat and Stephanie Kilkenny. And so what we've got going here now is a raffle, a raffle where the benefit is the Helen Woodward and this mobile pet unit out here, because it takes a lot to keep it all going. Time for the raffle to get going. And what we're gonna do is pick names, but the first prize is this Helen Woodward Critter Encounter. But one of the coolest things that's happening here tonight is that for every raffle winner, the Lucky Duck Foundation is gonna donate a laptop to a homeless youth in the name, in honor and recognition and credit of the person who wins the raffle experience. And so this first winner tonight 
Wow, this is like so cool. Can't we just keep this? That's probably not a good idea. Oh, come on, man. You like ruining all my fun. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. John Curtin. This prize is a year-long subscription to Stance Socks. Every Stance. month. Yeah, every month you get three pairs of Stance Socks. And I know it seems like socks are socks, but these socks are amazing. They're the coolest socks ever. They're the ever. only socks I can wear in Ugg boots that stay up. Well, that's John Wilson, that's Jeff Curl, that's Rick Alden, that's all our buddies, and this is one of the most incredible companies out there right now. And to win a year's supply. Yep. A year Three supply. Three pairs of socks every month for a year. Wow. Do you want me to read it? Can you this see it? one says, Megan Dowell. <laughs> we have come to the point of the evening where we give away a lot of Azunia tequila. Azunia tequila, where dreams come true. Okay, this is Laura Gates. All right, our next prize right. are Beats headphones. Wow. This is Matt Simmons. Matt, hey, Matt Simmons. All right, so our next prize is an iPad mini. An iPad mini. Okay, this says uh, Bill Berghoff. Bill Ooh, Berghoff. All right, Very Bill. Nice. Congratulations, Bill, and thanks for supporting the Lucky Duck. Okay, we got a special last minute prize that has just come up here. It's a opportunity drawing for any and all of our donors who have given any amount in advance here. And the prize for the winner is gonna be 100,000 Amex points and the computer donated in your name to a homeless youth here in San Diego. Okay, and today's winner is Herbert Lieberman. Herbert Lieberman, all right, way to go, Herbert. Herbert. Thank you for supporting the Lucky Duck. Thank you for making other people's dreams come true. Thank you for putting smiles on people's faces. 100,000 Amex points, Ooh. whoa, let's go. We just wanted to thank everybody for making this such a special and unique event. Every year it gets bigger, better, more powerful, more impactful. And that's what it takes is the commitment, the collective sense of effort and purpose of everybody working together. I am the luckiest duck in the world. I know Pat and Stephanie. I'm a volunteer for the Lucky Duck Foundation. And I'm married to this incredible angel, Lori. Wow, I am the luckiest guy on earth. Thank you, everyone. We really appreciate you sharing your luck with people who are down on their luck. In this way, we're able to help them get back up on their feet and become productive members of our society once again. So thank you for making this possible. Bill, Lori, thank you. Your original lucky ducks and, and loyal to this day, doing incredible stuff for San Diegans and beyond. Uh, so thank you. As we said at the beginning, we have a heck of a lot of work yet ahead, and it's not possible without our donors. If I was to try to summarize where we're at today in terms of addressing homelessness, I'd paraphrase Bill's coach and mentor, the legendary John Wooden. We are not as good as we ought to be. We are not as good as we want to be. We are not as good as we are going to be. But we are thankful we are better than we used to be. One last thank you, and that's to our MC this evening, ESPN's Neil Everett. How cool is that to have Neil with us? Neil, thank you very much. One last time, back to you. I hate goodbyes, so let's just say we will do this again sometime next year. The problem of homelessness will still be very much real, and hopefully we'll all be very much together as in person. Pat and Stephanie, we love what you do, and as our friend once said, we are all lucky ducks to know you. And before I go, Lucky Duck Foundation 2020.givesmart.com. Azunia! Now it's full. <laughs>